What's good, people? Here's a fun fact. This is my, like, third Vigor gameplay video that I'm voicing over for today. I usually do two, but I'm doing this one in another shootout because I'm bored. And by the way, this is my second channel. I stream here. And at the time of this recording, it's 9.30 and tomato fights are still going on. So maybe tomato fights will be going on for me in about 20 minutes. Not too sure. But what I am sure about is this here video. Y'all are going to enjoy it. And I don't hype up my videos often, you know, beside the one I uploaded yesterday. But I'll hype this one up a tiny bit. J just a tiny bit. But anyways, you see, we're on Fisk. And I'm pointing out to you all where my nearest spawn point is. That. And how do I know that? Well, I don't need a port to tell me. Because I spawned there. Multiple times. Because I play this game at least once a day. To give y'all videos, of course. If I spawned there last week and I spawn right here now, I can pretty much guarantee myself there is someone else where I was last week. And you don't have to believe me, right? That's why I bring y'all videos. What you're about to see is a consequence of me learning, well, the game. There are people, like me, who will rush a spawn point because you don't have enough time to react to me running over there. Then, there are other people who will port you at your spawn point and then proceed to port you two, three, four more times and then try to kill you. Then, there is the people that will sit at a spawn point, wait for you to rush said spawn point, and when you don't find them, they're prone up on a hill watching you the entire time and as soon as you give up that's when they gun you down now i've ran into all three of these players and of course i'm the first kind of player i will rush the spawn point because i know you're there but i bring all this information because i want y'all to be better at the game right i get it this game is uh interesting to put it lightly it has its moments both positive and negative but if you just, you know, sit back and either watch or try to learn the game, it might be a tad bit more enjoyable. It's a tad bit. So a lot of things happen, right? Safes are being opened, the tethers are being hit, competitions are being used. This is quite the turn of events. Y'all know Rainy Fisk is pretty much one of the most deadest maps in the game. And yet, there are gunshots. You don't hear gunshots on... Rainy Fisk, what you hear is the rain and nothing else, but yet you can clearly hear there's a gunfight going on behind me and one just happened in front of me. So which one am I going to run toward? Well, it's obvious. Now, I sincerely doubt that this guy right here was the cause of a gunfight. I sincerely doubt it. He was walking. Well, when I seen him, he was too close to me for him to be like, ah, I was shooting. Plus, he bought a VZ-58P with a total of 60 rounds and only fired off three. That's not gunfight numbers. That is, I was running out of ammunition numbers. That's what that was. So... He's gone, and now I have a secondary. Granted, it's like, you know, one of the worst secondaries in the game, but still a secondary. Yeah, and I might need to use it because someone's hitting the time safe. And the time safe is up there in the corner of the map in that big behind building where there are lots of blind corners. And M82 is not gonna work in that there building. And you see, I'm kind of thinking about going up there. But I'm also thinking about when he leaves, where is he going to go? Well, in this her direction.
people, can I just take the time out in this here video to say I love the freaking M82. It, it's so damn satisfying. It, it's great. It's great. I, I don't know how else to put it. It's just great. And oh, look, a 629 and the LD5. Boy, with decent ammunition as well. Talk about an upgrade. I'll take that. And the 629 as well. Also, the 629 is fun. And it's also satisfying, but it's not competitive. And I like that. Let the meta stay meta and let me have my fun. Because when I have fun and, and destroy the meta, it'll be all the more satisfying. Yes, I said that. And yes, I'm going to stick by that. So the time safe was hit. And I'm pretty sure it's cleared out now. The guy that's in that area heard me firing. So my element of surprise is gone. It's completely gone. That's why I'm running back here. Because I know for a fact he's going to stay in there for the entire match. And I pick up the phone. Yes, I know. I, I rarely do that. But when I do, it's because I'm trying to find out. Whoa. Whoa. Gee, that kind of sounds like someone who was waiting outside the barred house for someone to come outside the barred house and then get destroyed. That is what that sounded like. Alarm trap and then immediate MG3? Oh yeah, someone dead. Someone is out of here. But can I see them? Is the question. And the answer is yes. I know, folks. You're like, dog, how does he see them already? I don't yet. But trust me, you'll know what I do. Airdrop incoming. Get ready.
described yourself as a killer. But will you stay alive when others know where you are? You see, I could have cut out the part where I spot the guy running from the barred house, I try to hunt him down and I lose him, and I sit behind a rock thinking, damn, what's my next move? I could have cut that part out. I could have cut out the part where I was running down this hill to get my phone duel going on. I could have cut that part out. But I left those two things in to give you context and to teach you all a lesson. The guy that was my phone duel, he sat on that island and watched me run from the center of the map all the way to the edge of the map and did not move. I know what y'all, some of y'all smart asses are saying, you're like Jet, but he put on a jammer, he moved. Let me tell you something, if you walk up 20 meters to put on a jammer, and then walk backwards the same 20 meters to go prone on the island so you can stay inside a jammed area, you didn't move. You didn't move. He put himself in a coffin. The coffin corner in football, if you know, you know. But he put himself in a coffin. He backed himself against the wall, or in this case, the ocean. Or a lake, or whatever the hell water bodies behind this damn map. He killed himself. He had a better chance of meeting me halfway and actually getting into a fight. But no, he wanted to sit inside his jammed area and try to trick me. People, when I destroyed that jammer, his plan went completely out the window. You saw how he threw two grenades past me. Not at me, but past me. When I destroyed that jammer, like I said, his plan went out the window. And some of y'all like to ask, Jet, why do you not use a jammer? It feel like I give y'all a monthly video as to why I don't use jammers. This is that monthly video. I don't use jammers because they give you away. They don't hide you. If someone walks up on a jammer, they know you're nearby because you have to stay in that area. Good luck trying to stay hidden when someone knows where you are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.